All right, we at the reservoir. They working on it over there. I'm gonna go over back here. Shoot. Oh, yep. I'm most definitely going back here, y'all. Uh, this is our local reservoir where we live, so. It's like, maybe. I might catch one for y'all first cast or so. Here, sit these rods back here. Start off with the little crankbait. I think it's a Shark King or maybe Rapala or something. I don't know. I don't even remember when I got it. But, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm gonna hit you. A few of them. She caught a bass. I caught a bass. Yeah, a bunch of bluegill. Damn, I seen something over here. Pretty big. It jumped out the water. I don't know what it is. All right. Oh yeah, I like this crankbait. Dang. It's a little mossy over here though. All you gotta do when you get moss on your rod, normally just splash it. Shoot. Just want a bass today. over here. Yeah, I can feel it just hooking onto the moss. Shoot, I'm trying to get it out there. Get it out there a little bit farther than what I got going on right now. Shoot. Yeah, this, I see why bass play crank baits. Shout out, I'll be back when I do. All right. 
So, uh, I think it's time for us to switch the crankbait out. I've been throwing it for about the last like 20 minutes. We only been here for like 20 minutes, so that's a lot. But, finna go to the old flipping jig with the bandito bug on it. This jig been through a lot. Nyron just came over here to get weights and a bobber so he could sit, cause there's some big catfish up in here. And I don't know if I should throw this right here or should I go down there? But I'm gonna throw this for about 20 minutes before, we still got like 10 more rods in the car. I just brought three with me right here. All right, no backlash. kayakers coming by at least they more respectful they not like got the water going everywhere and stuff I backlash like 20 times on that crankbait um that dude I don't know if y'all heard it the video is still on it was like he called a bass on a um I think he said he had some type of lure. I ain't see it, but he was like he caught a bass, and then his girlfriend was here, and then she caught a bass too. So yeah, and then he just came by. He left. He was like, "Hope, hope y'all have a good day and stuff." So appreciate that. Hmm, this is a little deeper right here, so. like a I don't know why I feel like a jerk I need a, like a jerk bait or Down as a fit, I got my rods back there. That's why, if you keep seeing me, keep looking back, you know. Oh, yeah, it should be some good over here. We in the shade and everything. Shoot, see if I can skip it up over in there. Shoot, I got it where I wanted to, but I could see it. It's too shallow right there. Shoot, now what if a monster bass just was camping right there or something? Got three of my rods back there, and just in case anybody come by, I don't want them to take it or nothing. So, that's why I keep looking back. But most fishermen respect each other's stuff to the point where they not gonna take it. It's like the nicest kind of sport, other than when you just got a Karen on you or something because you fishing like one inch on her property. Dang, that just scared all the fish away, I know it. Well, I'll be back with y'all. Give me a couple casts in on this. Some different places. You gotta move around. Cause all the fish are not gonna be in one area. Here, I'm just gonna slowly retrieve it. Alright, so I got it um broke off. Well, I had to redo my line and stuff, so tied a new lure on now. Bandito bug. The same lure, but you know, gotta go to, gotta put a good old 
polymer not on there. Yeah, some people in the background talking about the water, how it's lower than it usually is. It's getting a little bit cooler, so that top water. Dang, now we're over here casting this way. Hmm. Here, dang, I can't get the thing through the... All right, finally. Yes, sir. Y'all see it? Dang. I'm trying to rip through 20 pound fluorocarbon with your teeth. Ain't the best, but, and yeah, I know if y'all are really paying attention, y'all can see it's too much line on my rod, but like I said, I let the people at Angler's Choice put it on there, so, dang, hold on, all right, so, I see it ain't cut this time, but, It's like Oh, yes, sir. I got my rod how I want it now. I'm pretty sure I do. All the little knots out of it and stuff. I'm finna go to what is basically my best option. Even though people be like, that's your last option. You gotta go to a Google Squad Walker Log. Set up in a Texas rig. I'll kind of put those other things on it. Even though I know those are normally for rigs. Like catfish and stuff. But it'll probably help me catch this monster. Watch. A monster coming in. This side of the reservoir kind of getting overfished. I'm finna go to the other side. I'll be back with y'all. Dang. Um, my line was broke off right here. I don't know if it was somebody playing 
or what. But I was trying to, like, because my line ain't backlashed or nothing. But it had just, um... Shoot, I just wanted my jig back. And I had this jig forever. But no, I think it might have been Nara because he was playing the other day with the machete we used for protection. And I was like, stop cutting people's line. And I don't know if it was him or not, but I ain't going to say it was him. But... I ain't gonna say it was him, but it was like, luckily I caught on to that before I started catching a fish and then couldn't get it in because my line was in two pieces. Uh, yeah, I was trying to get this out. It, it, it ain't a um, backlash, it's just from where I, um, I had it. Cause I ain't never even tie it on. I let the people at English Choice do all that. I'll be back with y'all. Very, very horrible. But, uh, yeah. So it's been like an hour, no bites. Uh, so I don't know if Nara or Poop I want yet, but no bites for me. If they do got one, hopefully. If they do get one, hopefully we get it on camera. But uh, I'm finna go put my tackle bag down over here because I got like 40 pounds of tackle on my back. So...
Who got him? Why? So Pooh got him a little blue view. Dang. I think. I think Pooh got one. Another one. Oh, but the difference, the only thing different is he using like live bait, cut bait, dead bait, like chicken livers, all that stuff. I'm just using, um, what's it called? But he using lures too. But yeah, he's the only one out of us. Well, not we're using like the worms. I put them up squad. That was the video at the reservoir. Nah. Yeah. Caught one fish, a bluegill. But hey, we just needed a video. So, but don't worry, we got better content coming when we go catch more fish. Um, the reservoir where we was at. Um, it's what? What's today's date? What's today's date? Nineteenth. It's the it's the twentieth. No, it is not. <laughs> All right. I think it's the twentieth. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, it's the 19th. All right, but um, no, it's the 20th. So it's April 19th. Um, when is this? what day is Saturday? Saturday. All right, Saturday the 24th. They got a um, catfish tournament that's going on at the reservoir. So hopefully we can do that. It's bank fishing or kayak, whichever one you want to do or boat, however you want to play it. <coughs> it's bank fishing. Um. I know you do not just do that on camera. What? It's bank fishing tournament. Uh, it's like a five, ten dollar entry fee. It's from six to like midnight. I think the dude said. What did I do? For like a three hundred grand prize, three hundred dollar grand prize. So yeah. Um. Hopefully we can do that. And I want to say thank y'all for watching the video if you made it this far. And we we'll see y'all later. Peace.